Alrighty, everybody. DTX 720 here, and we're here to react to this Nintendo Direct. Very excited. Very excited. We got what? Let's see. Let's see. Check, check. Five minutes. We got five minutes. We're going to sit here and wait. When the Direct starts, we'll be back. Quick predictions. I have no clue. Hopefully right here. It says we're getting a Smash Bros. character. 50 minutes. This is going to be a long Direct. Hopefully we get some good stuff, some bangers. It's going to be cool. I'm really excited. I've been hyped for this all day and all day yesterday. Whew. It's about to start here in five minutes. I'm excited. I'm thinking if there's a Smash Bros. character reveal, maybe a new Pokemon. A lot of people are thinking a Zelda character or something or a Pokemon. A lot of people are saying that. And then I think it'd be cool if we seen like Crash Bandicoot or Doom Guy or Ryu Hayabusa. Those are the ones I think. But if but if it's something surprising, that'd be cool too. Because I like to get stuff unexpected. Like Sephiroth. That was cool. But we wait. <coughs> now we wait. Alright. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, obviously the COVID thing. Yes, we understand. We know. Stuff might be delayed, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Nintendo Direct, yes! Excitement. Excitement. What's this? What the hell are they starting with? Xenoblade? Xenoblade 2. That's Rex. Get out of here, mouse. Sorry about that. I'm hiding my mouse. One day, Pyra just disappeared. Pyra, no! Hold on, sorry. Lag. Lord, have mercy on me, please. Hurry up. It was as if she vanished in the face of all rest. Without a trace. Oh yeah? Where have you gone? I'll find you, whatever it takes. This is where you were. Pyra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because... Because what? I got an invitation! <gasps> oh, shit! That was a Smash fucking trailer? Oh, my God! Pyra drew into the battle. Oh! Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, my God, it's Pyra! Dude! Oh my god, look at this trailer! Holy crap! Talk about a tight spot. Is it Mithra? 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 There she is! Mithra! Yay! Mithra awakens! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Whoa, wait, are they two different characters? They have two different moves. They have different movesets. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh my god. She kind of has like witch time. They switch. Oh. They swap! They swap! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is so cool. Quite the spectacle, aren't they? Wait, grumps? 
Gramps! Oh, look at this stage. That's cool. Xenoblade 2 stage. This is awesome. Look at this stage. Oh, they both have two different ones? Wow. Wow. Shulk. Never expected to see you two again. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you. Fighting words. You forget. We're fighters too. Wow. 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 And everybody thought it would be Rex, but no, they put Pyron Mithra instead of Rex. Hello, everyone. <laughs> that did not look like it was going to be a Smash trailer. Yeah, it has been a while, bro. Where you been? Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. Yeah. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. Yeah, we know that. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. Thank you so much. We needed one. It's been so long. It's been days. We appreciate your continued support. Thank you. Okay. What you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. Did not expect that. And Mithra. They Holy crap. in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That's so this fucking cool. Releases in March, so we hope you'll stay Releases in March. Wow. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh my god, that was already started with the bang. What is- Fall Guys! Fall Guys! Oh yeah! Oh, they're putting Fall Guys on the Switch. That's so cool. That's gonna be so much fucking fun. Me and Monica are gonna get this for sure. Oh my god. Fall Guys on the Switch. <laughs> oh, Fall Guys. That's awesome. Thank you for putting this on the Switch. I've been wanting to play it. When Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system, summer 2021. Oh, I gotta wait till summer though. Gee, you have 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. Oh shit, really? Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. Interesting. You have 22 minutes. After that. The sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. Okay. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. Wow. By repeating these cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. It's really what cool. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. All right. Heard good things. Put your sleuthing oh. skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Oh, murder mystery. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. Two deep cuts from Nintendo history mm -hmm. are coming to North America for the first time. That's cool. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. That's Suspense, awesome. Suspense, drama, and twists and turns await at every corner. That's pretty cool. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. <laughs> Wow. But that's not the only case to crack. In the other game, 
you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Wow. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Those are cool for nothing. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Definitely captivating this game, my is. It looks. Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Cool. A new age of battles begins. Is this Fire Emblem? No, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, yes, no, yes, no, Dynasty Warriors, possibly, I think so, yes, I assumed it was Fire Emblem, I'm all Fire Emblem, more, this looks like, kind of like a Dynasty Warriors game, I think it is Samurai Warriors Five. Yeah, I think it is made by uh, Shimagami Tensei. I the think. latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is Our coming to Nintendo. Shima Switch. Did I really say Shimagami Tensei? I meant Koei Tecmo. Why did I say Shimagami Tensei? That's a completely different thing. It's not even Koei Tecmo. I was right. It is a Warriors game. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. It's pretty cool. I like the comic book looking. Very, very cool. Looks very comic like. Yeah, it's cool. Cool we deck The vast world of Fadiel beckons. After 20 long Ooh, what's this little RPG game? Legend of Mana. I've heard of that. But I've never played it. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Before okay. discovering the world <clears throat> map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. Oh, wow. Neat. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own. Sorry, I don't mean to yawn. It's not boring or anything. I'm just kind of tired. Against fearsome monsters. Wow, well, look at that. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. That's a cute the looking music game. Has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, <laughs> as well as the new mini game Ring Ring Land. Mm hmm. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch. That's cool. June 24th. So is Legend of Mana like kind of like Trials of Mana? Is that kind of like a in the same series and stuff? This looks like Monster Hunter. Yep, that's a Rathalos right there. Yeah. Whoa. Monster Hunter Rise. Is that what this is? Whoa! Look at these mon Whoa! Crazy spider thing. Crazy spider thing. Basarius? Look at this guy. Lava looking dragon. Volvidon. Volvidon. The guy's crazy looking too. Whoa. Whoa. Nasty swamp monster. Whoa! Elder, Monster Hunter. News. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Fifty years ago, Kamuro Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnamaro. And we suffered some devastating casualties. Mm -hmm. How can we fight against that? Our hunter is about to face the biggest challenge yet! Kill them, kill the monsters. Oh, look at that thing. Those monsters are cool. That's a Rathalos, I know that. At least it looks like Rathalos. 
Boing. Well, it's a pretty cool game. Whoa, she's riding it. Uh-oh. That thing looks crazy. It's like a badger. <laughs> crazy badger. Forever. Monster Hunter Rise. That game looks impressive. Inoa, we should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance. <laughs> we must stop the calamity. You do that. You try. You could you can try. You could try to do that. March 26, 2021. And yeah, this the Monster Hunter Switch that we've seen. Ooh, and a poo controller. How fancy. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise mm -hmm. from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment of the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Next, please take a look at this. <coughs> Mario Golf? Hey! is open once again. <coughs> Tee off on the latest installment I knew there'd be Mario some kind Golf of Mario series. sport game to Nintendo Switch. Super Rush the wind and terrain. Mario Take Golf time to think things through Then swing Block. Enjoy golfing with familiar Pulling Mushroom right Kingdom now. characters On courses There's with lush natural <laughs> scenery Bozer Aw, oh, come on, Bozer Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. Neat. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by That's holding cool. a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Just That's swing neat. the controller to have your character swing in the game. Letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. I'm not really a fan of golfing that much. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf. Oh dang, look at this. this one, speed golf. Here, it's always your Oh, turn. that's intriguing. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole. That's keep cool. Going. That's a good game I'll mode right there. To come out on top. That's your golfing cool. Your skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Okay. Oh, did we mention story mode? As story a mode. character, Me. you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting <laughs> with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then... Allocate points to different stats, right. allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Cool. Put your golfing skills to the test Whoa. when Mario Golf Super Rush swings stop on yawning. Nintendo Jesus, Switch stop June twenty fifth. Pre orders begin on Nintendo eShop after this presentation. That's pretty cool. I should have known there would be another Mario Golf game after we had Mario Tennis so quickly. The game in the Mario oh, so Golf long ago, I mean. Adds new gameplay for multiplayer. That looks modes. pretty fun as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls. The speed golf looks really fun actually. Being able to race your friends and stuff using those powers. On Nintendo Switch. That's cool. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Yep, yeah, keep going. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Yes. Give us Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Oh, okay. Play as the Hyperion Lackey Reese and the quick-witted con artist Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch March 24th. 32 of Capcom's most beloved arcade wow, classics that's cool. are coming to Nintendo Switch. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet that's arcade cool. goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free, then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op cool. play is also available. 
Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium yeah. launches Strider. later today. Strider! That's awesome. Brains. As a zombie, you just can't get enough of Stubs the zombie! Fire. <laughs> You'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on wow. turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal. That's an old game. Wow. Grizzly mission. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. That's cool. Today on Nintendo eShop. Stubs the zombie. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's a flash. I never Touchdown thought I'd see again. Assassins. Wait, aliens? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up. Is this even the right game? No more anyway, Heroes 3. After annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass, beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. Damn, she so had to fight a bunch of aliens in No More Heroes 3? Not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face <laughs> off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study oh their god. Oh, look at this. It's like a bunch of different combat. kinds of games. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly death skills glove. that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to kick no some, more heroes, uh, man. whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it all makes sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, Nintendo Switch... August 27. August 27. That's cool. Exterminate demons in he heaven. Hmm? As above, so below. Neon white. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <clears throat> to do someone's dirty work. Oh, what is this? Look at this game. Huh. That looks kind of cool. The heck? That looks visually cool. What's going on though? Are you using cards? You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. And I'm always a fan of anime-looking art styles. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. All those characters look cool. Neon white. Interesting. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White. Coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. That game looks cool. Might check it the out. The DC Superhero Girls yeah. are here to save the day. A <laughs> DC Superhero Hi, Girls game? My name is Barbara Gordon. Oh god. AKA this game is cheesy already. I can already see the cheese. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's Tara Strong. Yeah, I think that's Tara Strong. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school lives, and trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. This game looks That's very right. Powerpuff Girls-ish, nice. but not at the same time. Justice later. Uh oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming. But when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. We just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identities. <laughs> oh yeah, DC nobody's gonna Super do that with you wearing power. a freaking total Batgirl disguise. It's not my kind of game. Ready but to use cannons cool. and prepare for battle. That mushroom looks familiar. What's that from? Plants vs. Zombies, that's what that's from. Garden Warfare! Yeah. Brains? Oh, Battle for Neighborhood, is that what it's called? This one is in Garden Warfare.
It looks cool. Corn! <laughs> the game looks really fun, a Plants vs. Zombies freaking uh, shooter game, like multiplayer shooter game. Who's that guy in orange? Battle for Neighborville, yeah, this has already been out. Um, it's the sequel to Garden Warfare, I believe. Who will join you in your adventure? What? Anyone can. Band together Metopia. to face evil and save faces. Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Interesting. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. This is the 3DS thing, isn't it? Metopia? Turn your favorite people into your allies. Or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Yeah. Weird. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. Metopia. That's an interesting choice to feature, letting you go bring to the Switch. Creations and make them even more fabulous. That's awesome. Make your Mies look cooler. In the world of Metopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship's sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. <laughs> Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? Horsey? That sounds pretty barn good! <laughs> it, and it'll lend a hand, or uh, in battle. I see. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp. Game Metopia. looks very goofy. Coming to Nintendo Switch. Very funny goofy. Is it the same Metopia? Begin today on Nintendo eShop. Is it the same Metopia from 3DS? Looks like it has new stuff, but Super Mario themed items are coming to your island. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary <laughs> themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Monica's freaking out over the Animal Crossing stuff. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in game as furniture items. Look at that! So place them, however. Look at those items. Like. You can also place two warp pipes. Look at that one's Wario. <laughs> Look, warp you pipes. Look at that. On your island. Hey. Why not try recreating the That's cool. Kingdom? Look at that. That's some cool stuff to add to a Animal Crossing. The game launches and it's free. Update. Free update. After downloading it, February 25th. Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter Sorry, I'm kind of yelling at Monica over there. Telling her about stuff. <laughs> That's we cool. You continue enjoying life on your island. That's cool, Steph. How was that? These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Mm -hmm. Any more Please Mario wait stuff? A bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. Indeed, I just bought my I copy. Hope you that Mario adventure mm. as well. I will. I will enjoy it. Next, we have another game to show you. Show us. Show us the games. Do it. What is this? He leaves us no recourse. Swords! Next. S. Frost will answer for its crimes today. Oh! The wages of loyalty. Raised earth and burnt. That looks familiar. You and no one. What is this? It's um. How we proceed. Octopath? No? Yes? Maybe? You are a leader. Looks similar to Octopath in a way. Octopath Traveler. I don't know if that's what it is though. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely. Every last one of us. 
Yeah, I think it is. It's the same font that Octopath Traveler was written in. Comprised of three nations and or at least it's like uh, another game iron. in that the same ilk. Among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict salt known iron. as the Salt Iron War. Salt Iron Though War. The hostility ceased with an uneasy truce. We need salt and iron. Let's fight for it. Threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remain. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Okay. Well, that's not really my kind. This isn't really my kind of RPG. But... Battles take place on terrain with different elevations. Mm -hmm. A character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can cool. be extended by I'm not really a fan of like with long range weapons, medieval and arrows, kind of era fantasy stuff. That's not really my thing. Like, I'm more of a sci-fi kind of person rather than a like a old kind of history game person. Does that make any sense? I don't know what time period you'd call this, like medieval or renaissance kind of era. A lot of a lot of RPGs use this same era of of like the same time period in their RPGs. A lot of people do. Seen it a lot. Just seen it so many times that I don't really it doesn't really intrigue me that much anymore. But this game does look cool, and I bet a lot of people will like it. A lot of people loved Octopath, so if this is what I'm thinking it is, very similar to Octopath, then throughout the story, then that's pretty cute. With making important decisions in a variety of situations. Oh, yeah. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Neat. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are oh. settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Oh. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. That's pretty they neat. refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced. As more and more critical decisions are made, your it's journey a lot. may take you down paths divergent. I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able, I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. I can't do it. What true might Very is. hard. That's a lot of. Oh. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix, mm -hmm. will launch in 2022. Please be on 2022. the for more information in the future. That's far off. After this presentation, a demo version of this game will Sorry, be available my computer to did download a, a weird on right there. <laughs> and in the future, we'll conduct a survey oh, okay. to gather player feedback. We Neat. look forward to hearing your response. There's a demo the after demo. this. You can already play a demo. That game don't come out till next year. Please look already play a demo. to future updates That's crazy. on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Next. Calling all hunters. <clears throat> Do you have what it takes? Oh, well, that's a Star Wars thing. You can see the clone head right there. Clone trooper mask or stormtrooper mask, whatever. Whatever it was. What game is this? Hunters? Coming 2021. That was a very small trailer. Star Wars Hunters is a competitive, free-to-play online game set between episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. All right. Neat. All right, let's do this. All right, so... <laughs> do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Corgan love battle. 
He looks very World of Warcraft looking. Spear of misery, Hades soul devouring crossbow. What is this game? A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. My line of work, bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once, I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Corgan want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. Knockout City. Was this a dodgeball game? Neat. Be the ball, be the ball. Catch me. Roger that. Heads up, your highness. Be the ball. This is interesting. Lost it. Can't believe we're losing to a bunch of dairy farmers. Okay, team. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey. Can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone. I don't. Not a bloody fashion show. I don't like. Uh, they showed all those characters, but then the art style has nothing to do with those characters. But the game does look intriguing, nonetheless. Knockout City. Interesting. The fight for survival starts now. Hang on tight, because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and wow. trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. That game looks cute. Those characters are very well designed. It's kind of scary. The game is suddenly called off. What game? You escape the, the game? theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that huh. blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. What is this game? This game looks neat. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. This what awaits you all at the end of your journey? <laughs> Look the at them all on the big bike. <laughs> begins in World's End Club. Look at that bike. Venturing onto Nintendo Switch, World's End Club. May 28th. That game was cute. Wield the powers Hades. of Olympus with the physical release of Hades. Physical release, Hades, okay. The critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient yeah, no, everybody of multiple loves Hades. Game of the Year awards is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. I haven't Switch. played Hades, this but version comes with a couple of extras I've seen a lot of people like out Hades. of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. Oh, cool. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood-pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous Supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32-page full-color like character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. That's cool. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Hades. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. That's cool. A lot of people will like that. Three deadly action games. One. There it is. Collection. There's the Sigma trilogy that was leaked a long time ago. Ninja Gaiden yep. Sigma. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge mm -hmm. are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. Oh, they're calling it Master Collection, not the Sigma Trilogy, like everybody assumed. You but are the legendary everybody knew this was coming. This was kind of leaked. Fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with Come on, Ryu. Ryu Hayabusa, when are you gonna get in Smash? Swiftly take down when are you gonna take your butt into Smash? Smash. Quickly Smash. gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. These Ninja Gaiden games are cool though. And team up with I remember playing one of them I think on to fulfill your destiny. I think on PS2, I believe. All I previous downloadable content, including Maybe costumes the first and one. game modes are included. 
Or maybe are these the ones that was on? Or maybe I played it on Ninja Xbox. Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Maybe. Ninja yeah. Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Can't Nintendo remember. Switch. I know I played one of those 3D uh, Ninja Gaiden games. I don't know how many there are, but I played one. Of them. More battles are yeah, coming we knew to that. Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. We knew that. Is it DLC for Age of Calamity? Everybody's seen this coming. The whole Age of Calamity. It's just a given that they put DLC on this game. Yep, expansion pass. What does it say? New weapons for Link. I don't know. That was pretty fast. I didn't get to read it. Too quick. Too quick. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. All right, give us the montage. Bravely Better Default, default 2, 2 yep. is almost here. That'll be fun. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Very Use pretty the game. job system to develop your characters and master the Brave and Default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I live to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. Okay. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. That's cool. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. Oh wow! As the Brave Knight Arthur, you'll unleash a new Ghosts and Goblins game. And skills to battle monsters. That's actually really cool. Within the demon realm. Local co-op play is also available for the first Go time. On, Arthur. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Oh, that's Barry cool. for defense, Carrie for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghost Barry, and Goblins Carrie Resurrection and launches February cool. 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Whoa, look at that boss fight. Eight protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through Never a heard stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own story. One of those many the Square Enix the RPGs. Views, <laughs> new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist, Acellus. Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch Apex system. Legends, yep, this that was kind Battle of Royale features also. a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legendary Pathfinder skin and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Cool. Plus, for the first two weeks after My launch, cousins really earn like double playing XP Apex, when you play on Nintendo really Switch. Thing. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. Apex! How's it going so far? It's going good, There's man. still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Yeah, keep Direct. going. Keep so blowing we our minds. We still us. haven't gotten like something Next. that's Please take making me happy this. other than Smash. Give me something juicy. Come on. <gasps> Hello there. I'm Eiji Aonuma. This is Breath of, of the, the Wild of series. 2. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. I did. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. Ah, you tricked me. We apologize. You got something else, though? Development is proceeding smoothly. Something else, Zelda, right? We should to bring you some new information this year. Okay. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. While you're all waiting, however, what you this got? Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, okay. Please take a look. What you got? What you got? What Zelda game you got? Give me Wind Waker. <gasps> Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword! Yup, it's Skyward Sword! It's Skyward Sword! On the Switch, baby! After I just said we need something juicy. Hell yeah, I never got the chance to play Skyward Sword! Let's go! Skyward Sword would be fun to play. That's cool, Skyward Sword! How many times can I say Skyward Sword? Very cool. There's gear him being a creepy creep. HD. Nice. 
What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Mm -hmm. yes. This game originally released right. in 2011 on the Wii console, and uh -huh. now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. 2011? Holy Legend crap, Zelda, that was Skyward so long Sword ago. featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword mm -hmm. and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. Yeah, With the so increased how is that processing work? power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing oh, okay, tap, so they link, managed to get the, the motion the controls to work. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand That's is cool. the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. That's pretty cool. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After That's mulling cool. over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Tilting the control stick? So you move the stick and it slices? Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. Wow. Swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally. Just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Wait, so how do you move the camera then? Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed. Ooh, Joy -Con those are cool. The right Joy-Con controller is wow. the left of the Master Sword, while the, the other left one's the shield. A Hylian shield yeah. motif. That's cool. The Legend cool. of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. That's cool. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of the Legend of Zelda. I will. I will enjoy it. The Legend of Zelda Skyward July Sword HD launches July 16th. That's dope. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. Cool. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know Those this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, it was. and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. Using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran. Yeah. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. They're trying to get the Breath of the Wild people to play this who haven't played this. <laughs> Please look I will play it. The I will. Of Zelda, Sword I will play HD. it. That's cool. Is that the only Zelda thing we're going to get? Well, still cool. what did you think? Still cool, though. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Our last Please one. Please take a look at this. Damn, time's already flown by so far. Time's already flown so fast. What is this? Splatoon! Splatoon! Your little buddy's turn. Ah, uh, you can customize that little dude. What is this? Is this a new Splatoon game, or is this a, or is this like DLC? Is that the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> what is this? What the hell is this? What is, what is this? Train noises always give me the heebie-jeebies. The sound of the brakes just... <laughs> just 
is awkwardly standing. Look at that guy. Look at that guy with his big ol' look at him. Look at that guy. He's creepy looking. What is up with this? Very awkward. Is there squid, squidtopolis freaking over there? In the background? Whatever the hell it's called. Inkopolis? Ooh. Is this a new Splatoon game? Is this a new Splatoon game? This is very different. Is this a new Splatoon game? Splatoon 3? It is a new Splatoon game! What the hell? That is very unexpected. Holy crap! Whoa! Whoa! Wow, I wasn't expecting a whole Splatoon 3. Look at this, this is cool! <laughs> wow. Back into the ink, yeah. 2022, of course. Gotta wait till next year. What's up with the weird bubbly noise? What you've just seen is the latest installment in the wow. Splatoon series, Splatoon wow. 3. Wow. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022. Holy crap. So it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. That's cool. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. Thank you for giving us a Nintendo Direct. And we look forward to sharing more news with Haven't you Haven't had one in so long. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Awesome. That Nintendo Direct was so cool. Main takeaways for me. Rex, I mean, pff, Rex. Pyra and Mithra and Smash. So cool. And they switch. They like, it's like Zeke, uh, Shell, uh, can't even speak Zelda and Sheik back in Melee and Brawl they switch that's so cool Skyward Sword HD that's so cool Fall Guys that's also really cool and then freaking Splatoon 3 that's amazing thank you guys for watching this reaction tell me what you thought about Nintendo's announcements on this Nintendo Direct have a good one, guys.